So, um, so we're not going to go ahead and talk about what happened to your tech variant in the last episode at the very end there. Um, yeah, I totally didn't accidentally kill it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> if you couldn't tell already, I was kind of annoyed. Like, I didn't even do the outro or anything like that, so yeah. Alright, well anyways guys, welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved. We're back for the 17th episode, and I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Guys, we're doing pretty well here. I mean, despite the tech Rex death in the last episode, we're still looking pretty good. There's still a whole bunch of other dinos I still want to go ahead and tame. So in today's episode, I'd like to go for an angle key tame and very very simply all we're going to do is take our Argentavius over to Herbivore Island where they spawn and just go ahead and get one of those so yeah should be pretty simple but before we do that I just want to start off today by once again thanking you guys like from the bottom of my heart for all of the support you guys have showed this series I truly appreciate it so freaking much I really really do guys if we can keep it up with a thousand or more likes per episode that would be be fantastic. So, since the last episode, I've done yet again some more breeding. I've actually disabled the breeding of all of these folks now. These are all females, so I've got my goal power army right here, guys, all at level 241. All have various stages of imprinting. And then check this guy out, guys. We've got Super Bob, level 243, fully imprinted, four levels up, 4,000 health, 1,100 stamina, 700 weight, 830% melee damage near as damn it and believe it or not the movement speed is actually higher than normal as well yeah 126.7 this one's 140 but according to syntax mutations video apparently these guys can't actually get increased movement but i don't know like is that quick i can't really tell like i don't really have any metric in which to uh, compare it well, I don't have any uh, method to compare it either, so I don't know. Let's uh, let's put one on this gal here. I'm almost tempted to say that Super Bob is quicker. Like I, yeah, I I'm convinced. I don't think this is the placebo effect either. I'm convinced that Super Bob is quicker. So I'm purely going by the sound of the footsteps and the speed of the footsteps. So that sounds pretty quick, right? So then we go on to one of our ladies here. I don't know. I don't know. Is it the PC bow effect? I have no idea. Okay, so. I mean, this should be pretty simple because Ankies are actually very, very slow. I don't even think I'm going to need a taming pen for them. Uh, so I think we'll be fine, guys. I think we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and uh, grab ourselves out some meat here. Little bit of foodsy doodles. I've still got the fish right there just in case... I don't know, we come across another Baryonyx that's, like, high level or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm stopping breeding the Baryonyx, it's basically, now, my friends. And, yeah, the next things we'll breed up will be the Tech Rexes. So that's the way we're going to go. Now, according to you guys, uh, apparently I was doing the mutation stacking wrong. And I can confirm that, yeah, I did actually make a bit of a mistake. In that uh, when you get a mutation, you're meant to breed the mutation with the, in air quotes, perfect dino. So no matter what level the mutation is, it always breeds back with its, you know, perfect male or perfect female and not another mutation. So mutation against mutation is apparently wrong. Mutation against a perfect dino apparently is the way to go. So yeah, I appreciate you guys letting me know that in the comments area because yeah, I went ahead and watched Syntax video again. Uh, yeah, it turns out I was doing it slightly wrong. Okay, so here we are my friends. Anki country. There appears to be two on my left there. Let's go and see what levels they are. Uh, what's this? Level 10? Level 40? Eh, a little bit crummy, let's be honest here guys. So I'ma kill them! Oh, and for those of you guys interested, I've actually gone ahead and decreased the dino count back down to 1.0. Some of you guys were making a very, very good point regarding the fact that, uh, you know, if... What's this? A Dodecura saddle? Ooh. We've already got one of those, haven't we? I don't know if it was an Ascendant one, though. But anyways, uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, a lot of you guys are saying that, oh, hey, when you actually go ahead and take down a dino, it's going to be more and more difficult to go ahead and defend them, right? Because, you know, we've got ourselves a bunch of dinos around. And secondly, apparently, 
uh, having a higher dino count than normal can sometimes mess up the spawns of other dinos. So, I don't know if that is correct, but uh, I'm going to trust you guys on this occasion. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I just sort of decreased it back down to 1.0. Alright, guys. Been circling Herbivore Island a couple times now. The highest level I've seen so far is level 80. And basically, guys, the way I've been doing this is pretty darn simple. Why? I wonder if you guys could help me with that. So, every time I go ahead... It's not specifically when I kill a dino, but make its corpse disappear. Whenever that happens, it seems to hang for like a good couple seconds before the game starts responding again. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like that happened before, and now it is happening, and it's kind of annoying. Alright, so I just re-logged, and that seems to be a bit of a fix right now. I mean, I don't know if it's the fix, because if it is, then that's actually kind of annoying. But uh, whatever the case may be, guys, we do have an advance on 80 levels. This one is level 95. I mean, it, it's as near as damn it 100. So let's go ahead and do some stuff. There we go. So we've, uh, we've got them down now, which is great. And as a result of that, we can tame it. Or it. I don't know what gender it is yet. Uh, male. Okay, cool. Alright, so these guys are herbivores as far as I can remember, so it shouldn't take too long to tame these guys. Alright, so if we keep it up with the 100% taming effectiveness plus 47 levels would mean that this guy is level 142 upon taming. Very, very nice. But uh, yeah, this is going to take a little bit. Now, I don't know if you guys, well, some of you more eagle-eyed viewers may have spotted it, but it only took three pinches to go ahead and get the resources here. And you might notice I'm getting quite a lot as well. That's because I actually decreased it. Decreased it? What? English Python. <laughs> I went ahead and decreased the harvest health setting. It was at 5.0. I've actually turned it back down to 1.0 because it just means that I can get resources quicker, right? So, for example, this, boom. Yeah. It only takes three hits and we get like 450 words. It's just quicker, man. That's that's all there is to it, really. I like it when things are quick because it means as a YouTuber, I can keep up with the daily content. Because if I had it at what it was at before, then the amount of time I'm spending getting resources just exponentially goes up. And then, yeah, I might not necessarily be able to get daily content up for you guys. So that's another reason why I've got the settings that I've got going on. So once again, guys, check the description. There is an updated list of settings. And it's, it's an ever-evolving list of settings. It really, really is. Like I say, I'm trying to refine it so single player can have lots of progress. But not overpowered progress, you know what I'm saying? Alright guys, we're back at base real quick because I'm pretty darn sure if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah, we do. We've got an Ascendant Ankylo saddle. Nice. So I found another loot beam as well. And as a result, we have ourselves a metal ceiling blueprint. That's actually pretty cool. I'm definitely down with that. Uh, so yeah, guys, we're looking real nice. Oh, we need ourselves a wee bit of water here. There we go. You love to see it. So there is one thing worth noting over here, ladies and gentlemen, and that is we have a level 135 female Brontosaurus, which is pretty darn good, if you ask me, because upon taming, that should be around level 200. So can you imagine that? Level 200 mobile Bronto base? Because you can get platform saddles for these peeps, right? Yeah. It's been a while since I've made a mobile base, guys. It really is. Oh my gosh. Have you seen the amount of eggs around here? My goodness. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to just rob them all. What's this? Uh, Stego egg. Mine. 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 And... Oh, Jesus! Uh... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, goodness! Uh, oh, ride, 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 ride! Ride like the wind! Ride like the wind! Uh, <laughs> just get the hell away! Oh, God. You sure are making it difficult for me to not want to kill you, buddy? Oh, for God's sake. I don't know. Oh! I think it's tamed. Cool! All right! Argenta- It's not Argenta, it's Ankylo! Level 142. All right! Yoink! There we go. All right, so let's go and get you uh, put up here. We're going to find ourselves a rich metal rock. And uh, go ahead and break it. Okay, right. Let's uh, gamma up real quick. Right, where's the nearest rich metal rock? Now, there are just regular metal rocks, of course. But I'm looking for the rich ones. The ones that are just solidly yellow. Come on, where are you? I know you exist. 
I know you exist. You're somewhere around here. If I don't think I just saw it. There it is. All right. So, there we go. Put you down there, Budski. All right. We need to come up with a name for you, huh? A. Okay. A, A, A. I don't know. Uh... Andy. Let's just do Andy. There we go. And 142 is its base rank. Okay, let's go and get a uh, saddle for you there, Budski. Alright, and... Uh, oh. I've got too many eggs on me. Gosh darn it! Alright, guys. I wanted to take a quick opportunity to just talk to you guys about my uh, future plans for this series. So, probably the first and foremost plan I have when it comes to the bosses... I was thinking of making a main base that is somewhat close to each of the three obelisks, okay? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that would make a lot of sense. So, for example, the Broodmother, which is probably going to be the first boss we try to take down, I think it would be a good idea if we made ourselves a semi-permanent base over there, just so we don't have to keep traveling back and forth. I mean, obviously, we do have the cryopods at our disposal, and they will be used, but what about things like the Smithy and what? Not, you know, that would be a great idea to just have a semi-permanent base at each area. So, yeah, just sounds like a good idea to me. All right, what weight have you got? 315. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a tell you, bro, that's pretty damn terrible. <laughs> All right. Boom! Oh, my gosh! Okay, well, uh, that's literally all of your weight taken up in one foul swoop. What the crap? I don't even think I'd be able to carry him back. Or can I? Whoop! Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. It's not by much, though. If I was to go ahead and dispose of, like, 600 units? No, nah, maybe 700 units. If I know, let's just get rid of all of the stone. What was I thinking? Duh. Man, we have come a long way since episode one, huh? I love seeing my base at night from a distance. It just looks so cool, especially the tech stego and the tech parasaur. Like, they stand out so well, don't they? <laughs> I love it, man. I love it, man. It's so good. We have come a long, long way. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean to do that. You were meant to be dropped outside of the door. Uh, boom. There you go. Package delivered. And one ankylo absolutely crammed full of metal. Right. Uh, here we go. Oh. You are slightly in the floor there, sir. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> what? Alrighty, guys. Six times ref... Forge reforging? Refining forge is on the go here. I mean, I guess strictly speaking, I could uh, get eight going, right? Because, you know, I've got these two around here. But I typically use these to make fuel. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know. It might be worth going eight times, actually. Yeah. All right, guys. So with all of the metal split between all of the forges, I think that we are pretty safe to go ahead and do a little bit of exploring here. So uh, I think it goes... Oh, that's an alpha megalodon. Interesting. Or is it? I mean, I didn't see any, uh, I didn't see any particles around it. Uh, I've lost it. Damn it. Oh, wait, 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 no, it's over there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, it is an alpha. Okay, level 35. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it goes without saying, like I say, I uh, decreased the uh, quantity of dinos to 1.0, so I had to do the, uh, you know, destroy wild dinos command again, uh, just so we get the proper spawn rates. Otherwise, we'd still have the remnants of the 5.0 left over, right? So, just something to bear in mind. What level are you there, buddy? 12? If you were 180, I would 100% tame you. Oh, there's a regular Rex. Okay. Level 10. Worthless. Holy crappers! Yo, there's like freaking two of these dudes. Oh, wait, 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 hang on a minute. Gotta take out the trash real quick. Hang on. All these guys need to go. These pesky bug buttheads. I hate them so much. Go Get out. Oh, my gosh. Look at the amount of eggs. Hold. All right, press F and then, yeah. There you go. You can just like pick up multiples at a time. Oh, this is cool, man. Hey. Is it possible to tame these guys and then make a bit of an egg farm back at base? Is that even a thing? Is that an alpha? Oh, it's not. Oh my gosh. You see, I see that they're red and then I just sort of immediately guess that they're alphas. But, I mean, if you're only going to be level 5, then quite frankly, that's just an insult to my existence. Uh, I don't know what you think you're doing. I just went ahead and saved you, Mr. Steger. Oh god, the freaking stutter is back. Alright guys, so I definitely want to have some sort of item to go ahead and call my own, you know, just to reminisce about this thing. Bunny hop dance emote. Nah, spears, I don't really use spears. Helmet or hat. Yeah, I'm kind of down with that. It costs 40. 
which is something to bear in mind, of course. Um, I don't know, what else have we got? C4? Nah. Uh, oh! <laughs> Provides an excellent look. Uh, of course. Uh, change the appearance of a saddle? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Uh, I can change my Procoptodon. Uh-huh, change the appearance of a saddle. And again, a saddle. I mean, come on, it's gotta be bunny ears, right? <laughs> it's got to be bunny ears, man. Come on, bro. There's no way. All right, and then I kind of wanted to do this as well, so I could have something for myself. But I'm going to need myself some more bunny eggs, huh? All right, well, I guess I can sort of, uh, you know, get myself back over that place real quick. Get myself some more. I want to make myself something. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, wait, where does this go? Oh. 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 <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, you look incredible! Oh goodness me! God! Oh, I thought that was enough to kill me, but thankfully not. Alan, you look fabulous! Alright guys, the hunt begins! Alright, so there's a few around here. I think we needed five? Or something like that in order to actually make the thing? Okay. Oh, we found one! Yeah! Bunny Dodo! Right, okay, uh, if I was to go ahead and knock one of these guys out to try and tame it... I mean, do we really need to tame it? I mean, there's not really too much I actually wanted to make, huh? Hi, <sighs> another Rexy. Another non-tech variant. Oh, my goodness. I feel like the more of these guys I kill, maybe they'll just keep respawning. Because, I don't know, that's like my fourth... Oh, my goodness. That's like my fourth one I've taken down so far. Huh. It seems to be doing the job, huh? Alrighty, guys. So here we are. Oh, my God. 300. Wait, that's insane, isn't it? Okay, so we were looking for... What was it? This one? Yeah, there we go. And then we'll take the rest of the eggs out and try to break them and see if we get anything cool. All right. So uh, remove... All right. So we need to remove the skin. There we go. Put this on. And then put this on. And then we should have an Easter basket. Ha! Yeah, baby! <laughs> I'm so dumb. All right. Uh, where was that dude? You dare? You dare come into my neighborhood? Stupid Ichthy. No one likes you. You suck. You suck. All right, here we go. Let's go and uh, place down all of these eggs. And then uh, away we go. Uh, okay, let's just take off our canteen and, yeah, spam away. Spam, 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 everything. Spam, 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 spam. Ah! Surrounded by eggs! It's like the invasion of the egg kind. Oh god, it's like the revenge of the Baryonyxes, huh? Oh my goodness. Alright, boom and boom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, crack them all! Crack every single one of them! Come on! Come on! Give me something! Give me something! 35, man! 35! You know you want to. Come on! Wait, how rare is it? How rare is the pet? Oh my god, I just broke all of them! What? Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on! What?! Oh! That's awesome! Oh! I didn't notice the writing on the side to say that I had stuff that I uh, got. Oh, that is cool! With a capital cool. Okay, Alpha XP 0 out of 30,000? What? Earn XP from alpha creature kills when equipped to increase its level and earn additional max levels for your survivor. I mean, it's got to be the raptor. The raptor seems kind of cute. Oh, let's put this on. <gasps> we get to name it. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know. Rob. There you go. Rob the raptor. Boom. Yay. All right. Is it like walking around with me? <gasps> no. Oh, my God. You're adorable. Oh, he's so adorable. Oh, oh. Okay, so how does it work then? Does it does it follow me if I like go on this uh, RG? Is that what happens? Are you on? <gasps> I think he's on my shoulder. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my gosh! I'm like carrying him. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love that so much, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wonder. So I was on about that uh, stuttering problem from before. I wonder if it's because there's so many eggs on the ground. 
That is definitely a possible cause. I don't know how plausible it is. But, I don't know. It seems like the sort of thing that might cause that sort of lag. Alrighty, guys. Well, before I forget yet again, I am going to go ahead and get the uh, taming pen made real quick. So, like I say, it was going to be a, what was it, a 3 by 4 or something like that? So, maybe it'd be 4 wide and then 3 depth. Rather like, if I kind of feel like it should be the other way around. Uh, pick it up. Okay, and then number five. Okay, bada boom, bada boom, and bada boom. Okay, right, so that's all of the platforms. Is that big enough for a Rex? Do you guys reckon that's big enough for a Rex? I feel like that'd be big enough for a Rex. I feel like it should be, right? Let's say they're coming through the back here. What we need to do is place down door frame uh, and the other door frame. In fact, let's have like two loads. Oh, you can't do that? Oh, wait, you can. Okay. Whoop. There we go. And... Uh, darn it! Press the wrong number like a doofus. Number six. Buddy, get out of here. You do not belong. Okay, boom. Boom. Just surround this thing with the walls. If I've calculated this all correctly, I should have enough to do the whole lot. Okay, and two, and one, and zero. Okay, coolio. Okay, so... The principle is very, very basic. It's very, very simple, guys. All we need to do... In fact, is this going to fit? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, yeah, we get the Rex to go ahead and uh, come up these steps. Darn it, man. We get the... <laughs> Oh, we get the Rex to go up the stairs, drop into the thing, and then we're good. And then we can just run out of the uh, of the door here, but then the Rex can't fit through, right? So, yeah. And I think it goes without saying, the reason I'm using stone as fu- What? Requires nearby foundation support. Oh, okay, so I need to put myself a pillar underneath this or something? Okay, well the reason I'm using stone is I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me correctly, most dinos can't damage stone, right? As far as I know. There we go. Nice and simple, my friends. I wanted it to go all the way down to the floor just so it looks a little bit more realistic. I wasn't really a fan of the gap that was there. Uh, oh. I hope that the Rexes can still climb over that. Because if not, then uh, that's going to be a little bit of a fail, huh? Alright, well there we go guys, the taming pen is up and running, let's do the comment of the day before heading off here. Uh, Roland M. Lara Quente says, I had my face covered cringing so hard when the tech rex died, I could tell Python was done. Should we allow him to spawn in another tech rex uh, with the same levels? And level? What? Uh, basically I had to paraphrase that comment because, you know, the comment was a bit long and obviously we can't have super long comments in the notes because it just chops off. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, the reason I'm not going to do that is because I would class that as cheating. I would not want to go ahead and get any kind of reputation for being someone who spawns stuff in or anything like that. Like, I want to have my integrity about me, okay? And, you know, it's part of the fun of the game. Yeah, we, we accidentally killed it, but it's just something that happens. Same with anything in life. You can't just go ahead and cheat your way through life, right? So... I don't know. As much as it's a nice idea for the progression of the series, we do still have a whole bunch of other dinos t to tame that we might want. You know, the Dodecurus uh, springs to mind. It's definitely one that I want to tame. The Castoroids is another one. There's plenty of dinos to tame in the meantime, and if we so happen to come across a level 180 Tech Rex again, then hell goddamn yeah, we're gonna tame it. But yeah, guys, like I say, I don't want to get like any kind of reputation for being someone who spawns stuff in or cheats or anything like that, so I hope you guys can respect that as much as I, you know, respect the idea and uh, you guys for, you know, keeping me in mind and my sanity, you know, I don't want to go ahead and do that. So, yeah, thank you for the suggestion, though. I do appreciate it. But, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Bit nice, I don't know, bit of a nice, chill episode, huh? We've got ourselves some Easter stuff done. We've got an Anki low on the go now. We've got ourselves a ton of metal. And we have a taming pen at long freaking last, guys. So, that is going to wrap it up for now, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Drop a big fat thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ding that bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. 